Inside a computer, all information is stored as either a 1 or a 0. This is known as binary. The smallest unit of data inside a computer is called a binary digit or bit. A single bit is a very small unit of data though. It can literally only store a 1 or a 0. Computers usually store data using much larger values than individual bits though, so there are other units of measurement we can use when referring to these larger values. A group of 8 bits is called a byte. A group of 4 bits is called a nibble, because a nibble is a small byte. In fact, bytes are still much too small a unit of data in most cases. Instead, we group bytes together. For example, a kilobyte is 1000 bytes. A megabyte is 1 million bytes. A gigabyte is 1 billion bytes. A terabyte is 1000 billion bytes. Sometimes we need to convert between these different units of data. This is easy to do though. To move from a larger data unit to a smaller data unit, such as from a megabyte to a kilobyte, then you need to multiply by a thousand. If you need to move between multiple levels of unit, such as from a gigabyte to a kilobyte, then for each stage you'll need to multiply by a thousand. To move from a smaller data unit to a larger data unit, we just need to do the same in reverse, by dividing by a thousand. Let's look at an example. How many bytes are there in 3 kilobytes? To move from a kilobyte to a byte, we multiply by a thousand. 3 multiplied by 1000 is 3000. So 3 kilobytes equals 3000 bytes. How many bytes are there in 5 megabytes? A megabyte is 2 units larger than a byte. So we'll need to multiply by 1000 twice. 5 multiplied by 1000 is 5000. And 5000 multiplied by 1000 is 5 million. So 5 megabytes equals 5 million bytes. Let's now try and do the reverse. How many kilobytes are there in 6500 bytes? To move from bytes to kilobytes, we need to divide by 1000. 6500 divided by 1000 is 6.5. So 6,500 bytes is equal to 6.5 kilobytes. Why do we need to understand binary though? Well, because computers only understand binary. The CPU has no idea what a decimal number is, or a photo, or an MP3, or a game. All it knows about is that some switches must be open and some need to be closed. You see, if a switch is open, it cannot pass electricity and this represents a binary zero. However, if the switch is closed, then it can pass electricity, and this represents a binary one. All the components of your CPU, and indeed your computer's memory, are made up of billions of switches that are constantly opening and closing as they store different numbers or do different calculations. The wires on the motherboard that move data around will also do so in binary, where one voltage represents a one and another voltage represents a zero, and this is how data is moved from the hard drive to RAM and to the CPU. In this way, all data in your computer needs to be converted into binary in order for it to be processed. So, all data exists in a computer as binary data. The smallest unit of data is a binary digit or bit, which is either a one or a zero. We often group bits together into larger units of data, such as a nibble is 4 bits, a byte is 8 bits, a kilobyte is 1000 bytes, a megabyte is 1000 kilobytes, a gigabyte is 1000 megabytes, and a terabyte is 1000 gigabytes. To convert between units, you need to multiply when going from large to small, and divide when going from small to large. Computers only understand binary, processing data using switches that can either be open, representing a zero, or closed, representing a one.